If you're not the first time to watch my video, you must know I love pork belly. So today we're gonna make another cuisine with pork belly. This is the material we're using today. Two strips of pork belly, green onion. We have some garlic, pepper, ginger, and another thing is made from sweet potato and other other powder. It look like little piece. But when you stew in the fryer, it be very tender and will absorb all the juice and grease from the pork. So this is gonna be great. Let's go ahead and make it. We're gonna start in with washing and cutting all the material, green onion, and then pepper, garlic, peel in the chop. Pork. Slices. And this is another material we're using. We cut them into smaller pieces and slice the ginger. The sauce we're gonna to use today is we're gonna use one teaspoon of the soy sauce. It's different kind of soy sauce, but also named soy sauce. This is the dark soy sauce. We're going to use one teaspoon of that and then we're going to use oyster sauce this is my favorite oyster sauce i love this brand so much one spoon and, and some chili because i love it and and one teaspoon of salt then just mix them up make sure you cook with a hot pot so I heated the pot up before I put the oil. Now the oil is heated up a little bit too and I put the ginger. I stir them a little bit. Now it's the time to put the meat. We are going to fry with the ginger and uh, we're going to try to cook as much oil out as possible. You don't have to end anything now. Just keep fry and to cook the grease out of the pork. I also pull out the oil after I cook for a while because I don't want it to be too greasy. And now we just end this. Stir it. Now we're going to end the sauce that I mixed with. Make sure you get all the sauce. I stir them a little bit. Make sure the sauce is mixed with the food. Then I think it's time to end the water. So I put two cups of water in here, it just like cover, almost cover the meat and then I put the cover up and cook it till it turns like this. It takes me about 10 minutes to cook till like this. And I've always been cooking on high. Now it's almost done, I just add the garlic, the white part of the green onion. Now in the pepper. The reason I add the pepper the last is I don't want to overcook it. I want the color to still to stay looking bright and colorful. After putting the pepper and the garlic green onion in, I cook about one minute thirty seconds.
and at the last I just end the green on green part of the green onion and it's ready now look at that that's so yummy I wish you have a good appetite today. Thank you for watching my video and I hope I see you next one. Please remember to like, thumbs up and comment if you like my video. I'll see you next time. Look how tender that is. Bye y'all. Love you.